I'm not gonna lie, I definitely underestimated how difficult this would be. I heard I, him cheating from no, upstairs, guys. No, no, I only guys. come in here. Fuck you, V. All right, so I've been seeing a lot of videos floating around of people trying this dopamine detox. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Now, I decided to do 24 hours with literally just pen, paper, and my mind. So that means no electronics, no music, no reading, nothing like that at all. And I actually decided to pair it with a 24 hour water fast as well. So for 24 hours, literally nothing except water. No tea, no coffee. I think you get the gist. I thought it would be a fun, easy challenge. And the key word there is easy. So let's roll the video and find out. So it is 8.40 on a Friday and uh, gonna kick off the dopamine detox. So what that means is, laptop, iPad, iPhone, second iPhone. Those are all going in the vault. Actually, wait, uh, my Kindle as well. Yeah. Can't read that either. Uh, can't read, I mean, I would have explained everything that's uh, included in this uh, dopamine detox protocol, but uh, long story short, um, I'm gonna have to put my Kindle there too. That's going away in the vault, and tomorrow it's just pen, paper, and what's going on in here. So hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep. And hey, maybe I can even uh, sleep my way through half of this dopamine detox anyways. So I woke up like, two hours ago, which is rather impressive because that means that I would have slept for 14, 13, 14 ish hours. <laughs> Can't check your aura stats though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pete brings up a good point, which is I would love to check my aura stats, but I can't because I don't have a phone to sync it with. But anyways, uh, woke up, ran downstairs, got some water, and then ran back upstairs, had a shower, and I just, I think I, I think I sat in that shower for 40 odd minutes, 30, 40 minutes, just let the, let the this, this is so not environmentally friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but usually, you know, you just jump in the shower, like on a normal weekday, I jump in the shower, it's cold, I jump in, I do my little 90 seconds in a cold shower, change it to hot, stay in there for like two, three more minutes, quickly wash, and get out, you know, it's nothing really that exciting about a shower, but, Today, I just, <laughs> today I just, I, I just laid in there. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I, I sat down in the shower like, <laughs> like, like, crazy. You should've just bossed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, after that, I got out and I applied a face mask because why not, there's not much else to do. And welcome to today's video in which we are talking about face masks that actually work. I moisturized and as my face mask was on, I sat and I meditated. For like what I think was 10 minutes, I, I'm not really sure. I would, <laughs> I have no barometer for that. Anyways, Pete already got up at nine o'clock and he, <laughs> so he, he got up, showered, loaded the laundry, dishwasher, stared at an incense stick for five minutes and then ended up going back to bed for three hours. <laughs> so I'd say all in all the dopamine detox is going pretty well so far. So they only had a pink notebook at the store, but uh, this will do. Now, I meditate every day. Uh, I do intermittent fasting until 1 p.m. My phone is actually turned off and in a vault from the moment that I wake up at 6.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. so I can focus wholeheartedly on my morning work blocks. I run a multi seven figure year business and that takes quite a bit of focus and it's taken an immense amount of focus and sacrifice and determination to get to this point in life. So the reason I say this is because I've always considered myself a person who could deal with monotony and just the dull reality of day-to-day -day life, you know, just chipping away at a goal, whether it's very stimulating or not. So before I go ahead and roll the rest of the clips, one thing that I started finding at this point in my 24 hour dopamine detox was just this uh, intense strangling sensation. This was the purest form of boredom because there was nowhere to run. I couldn't eat, I couldn't read, and I couldn't turn to anything or anyone outside of myself 
You know, by the time I was even a, a few hours into this after waking up, it was clear that this was going to be a lot, lot harder than I initially thought. One of the other things that made it a little bit more difficult was um, moving. With everything that's going on in the world right now, I can't leave the house. I'm in Cape Town at the moment and you can only leave the house to go to the supermarket. And when you're doing a 24 hour water fast, the supermarket is the last place you should go to. So that meant I was stuck inside. You know, it would have been nice to uh, leave the house, go for a walk, hear the birds chirping. I did spend a decent amount of time up on the roof, uh, just journaling, hearing the birds chirp, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the rest of the clips. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, I definitely underestimated how difficult this would be. Um, maybe it's because I tried to compare it to other stuff that I've done. I've done 48 hour water fasts before. In the past, I've been through periods where I'm meditating 30 minutes, 45 minutes a day. I'm a very focused person in general. From the point in which I wake up from 6.30 until 1 p.m., my phone doesn't even turn on. All in all, I thought this would be pretty easy, to be honest. But I just sat on the roof for 45 minutes journaling and genuinely I, I was I was in such a place of serenity and peace but I it felt like it had been like two hours and yeah I was only around like 45 minutes so I have a remaining six hours to go I think I will do a bit of cleaning up and then do like a 30 minute meditation session I know I've talked to a couple different people about what way to do a dopamine detox some people are like look just get away from music electronics reading that sort of stuff but you could still like for example take photos as you might be able to see behind me, there's a pretty decent film collection. And they're like, yeah, you, you, they're like, you can do that and you can do cleaning. And then there's some other people who are like, no, like literally pen, paper, meditation, and that's it. Almost as if you're doing a Vipassana meditation retreat. So I've opted to go for just pen, paper, meditation, and let myself clean. Because right now me and my friend Pete, who also is a videographer and edits these videos, we've been living here for almost three weeks and uh, and boys are not good at keeping their place tidy. And a cleaner that's meant to come multiple times a week obviously can't, uh, considering everything that's going on in the world right now. Here in Cape Town, we're in lockdown, so um, this place has gotten pretty messy. So that'll be my next uh, order of business. So, I made myself a, a decaf, bulletproof. And then Pete came running downstairs. I was saying- I heard I, him cheating from no, upstairs, No, 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 I only guys. committed to a dopamine fast. I never committed to a water fast. But taste is a source of dopamine. No, but do you think about people who do like uh, pasta retreats, like you still eat food. Yeah, but it's probably really shit food. It's not decaf and espresso bulletproof. Wait, how does that make any difference? <laughs> <laughs> from what I've heard, uh -huh. taste. You, you don't have anything besides water for 24 hours. You know, fuck you, V. <laughs> I found this challenge to be extremely difficult and I urge all of you guys to try it. It'll really open your eyes to just how much distraction you let into your life. The other thing that was just very interesting was you realize just how how much time you have in a day. Like I slept for 12 hours, which was absolutely nuts. So with that said, I really only had 12 hours of the actual dopamine detox itself while I was awake and 12 hours felt like an entire week. It was crazy. Now I'd say out of the entire experience, the main thing that made it difficult for me personally was the water fast aspect of it. I've done a few 48 hour water fast before and completed them, no issues. But one effect that a water fast has for me personally is I get pretty bad headaches. I know for some people that's part of the process, like part of the detoxing process. But when you're doing a 48 hour water fast, you know, you just lay in bed or you chill on the couch, you catch up on some Netflix or you read or you just have some ways to distract yourself. Whereas with a dopamine detox, 24 hour water fast. The two in conjunction can be a little difficult. So if you've never done a water fast before, I recommend maybe just start off with either a 24 hour water fast or start off with the 24 hour dopamine detox before you marry the two together. So would I try it again? Yes, 100%. So all in all, I urge all of you guys to try this challenge. As I said, I thought it would be very, very easy, especially considering some of the challenges I've done previously, but it was a lot harder than I thought. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel and you're interested about business, building an online marketing agency, sales operations, biohacking, et cetera, et cetera, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Another reason for you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification is because in every single video, I actually give away an article from Gadgie, which is my bespoke clothing line. So for today's winner, I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin comment down below. If you wanna get entered in to win a piece from the Gadgie clothing line, all you have to do is within the first hour of a new upload, go ahead and comment 
and you'll be automatically drawn into win. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see any other challenges and I'll see you guys in the next one.